Hey guys, welcome to episode number two of The Beaties. And in this episode, we are going to cover and talk about insulin pumps. Basically, this is an insulin pump. This is what is normally connected to my body with a long tube, but I'm disconnected right now, so I have about 15 seconds to live. Oh no! Oh no, no! No, I'm just messing with you. I'm not gonna die. Dude, that's not even funny. I thought you were gonna die. This insulin pump is what's connected to this long tube, which gives me insulin regularly throughout the day. This insulin pump made by Medtronic is actually six thousand dollars. I'm not even joking with you right now. I'm dead serious. I'd slap a moped motor on that thing and ride it to work. Wow, man, that's a lot of cash. Unfortunately, I'm six foot three and weigh 200 pounds. So this thing basically controls the flow of insulin to my body, kind of like a normal pancreas would. Instead, I basically have a piece of charcoal where I used to have a pancreas. It's all dead in there, not really working. The upside of having an insulin pump is you don't have to give yourself shots all day long. Because I'm telling you, even though this thing looks small, it hurts like a mother. I only have to give a catheter injection one time about every three days, instead of needle injections about four or five times a day. Look, I I'm not Albert Einstein on this, but that's a lot less times. Math never was my good subject, okay? I didn't like it. I wasn't really good at math. Actually, it was long division that really stunk. One of the parts of an insulin pump is also this. It's called a reservoir, and what this does is it has a little plunger in here which fills up with insulin that you would take out of a normal bottle. For those of you who don't know a whole lot about insulin, insulin smells horrible. It kind of smells like a pig. I'm not really sure any other way to describe it than that. And I'm not talking like bacon sizzling in the morning, wake you up, come down and eat a good hearty breakfast bacon. I'm talking pig came in, took a dump inside a little tiny vial and connected it to a piece of equipment located on your stomach kind of smell. The other part of the insulin pump is this little beauty here, which is the Paradigm Quick Set. In other words, it's the long tube that goes from the insulin into your body. Be careful, kids. This is the business end of the pump. It's got a needle in it. This is the portion that actually attaches an adhesive circle to your stomach, where a needle, which is this long, goes into your stomach. And for the sake of time, I'm not gonna show you how that goes onto my stomach, but I am going to use this ambiguously no-haired, half-clothed baby to show you where it goes. It goes right here on the tummy. Don't cry, little baby. Help, I'm not even making minimum wage on this gig. Right about there. Funk soul brother, check it out now. So this thing gives me insulin basically all day long in what's called a basal rate. A basal rate is kind of like you getting insulin all day long, except mine comes with a AAA battery. This thing has alarms on it, which go off all day long to constantly remind you to check your blood sugar. And it sounds kind of like this. Hey, insulin pump makers. I'm no expert here, but could you not come up with something a little bit better than beep, beep, beep? Why couldn't I be reminded to check my blood glucose levels gently each day by possibly T-Pain, P. Diddy, Tupac, Dr. Dre, who, by the way, is not a real doctor. And don't forget my main man, Common. Hope you guys had a good time watching. Actually, I don't care what you think. I'm just doing it so I can have an excuse to play with my baby dolls. And I'll see you next time on part three of the BDs. It only sounds so much better when I say it like that. Hi, my name's Neo, and I have the BDs. See what I mean? <laughs>